Hi, Sherry here in the side yard. You've seen my front yard, you've seen my backyard, but you haven't seen the side yard. The side yard is a place that usually we don't like to go to. It's usually a utilitarian place, maybe where the garbage cans are, but I decided to turn my side yard into a little magical garden, as you can see. So I thought, why not do yoga in the side yard? And I thought maybe we can do a chakra series here in the side yard. What do you think about that? Finding the stability now, the rootedness, the strength in your warrior one. It doesn't have to be a wide stance, it just has to be a strong stance. Now we're coming up, we're looking up, heel is down on the floor, and we're gonna exhale, swish it down, and look behind us. Take it all the way up, touch at the top, bring it back into the prayer pose. Pressing the palms together, we're gonna take the twist, so it's opposite elbow, opposite knee. Opening the heart, being strong. Yeah, and if you want to, you can interlace your hands, and if you do so, you're gonna straighten those elbows and maybe lift the arms up a little bit off your back, and just hold and breathe. It's free flow time, yeah. Just move, maybe gazing up and around. Good. So the throat chakra is our place where we, we have our voice in life. Third eye, what does that mean? That means intuition, and it also means insight, which means going inward and finding that there's more to our thoughts than just the busy mind. So what wisdom do we get from our lives? Well, our lives are journeys, right? So along the way, we learn how to uh, carry the necessary things that we need to to get around in life, right? 